Jeez. Curse or rare colorless or remove a card. I've been taking rare colorless like every time on Ironclad because I'm not getting real whale bonuses with this character. Kind of brutal. Could remove a strike and a guardian act, I guess. Head Grog, thanks for the seven months. Appreciate it. I don't hate removing strike. But sure. That's enough, right? I hope so. Alright. If it wasn't enough, I would have won a different way. I guess I take it on Pervious. Card's okay. Uh take damage here? I think take damage here is Ironclad. I don't know if that's right. How are you playing? How are you feeling? Playing more Spire. I am having fun. Yeah. I'm actually quite invested in my floor per day run. That's been a lot of fun for me. Body slam impervious. It's, I mean, I think it's strong enough that I have to take it, even though it doesn't always come together. Well. Headbutt supports it too, right? Oh my god, double body slam. <laughs> There's no way it's right. Is there any way it's right? TJ Roni. I don't think it can possibly be correct. Colorless potion for panic button and deplication potion. <laughs> I don't think it's right. What about flex just to be able to deal any damage? 
I think Flex is a pretty good card here, actually. Just because it costs zero, mostly. Deck needs a zero cost card. Just ignores Clash Brutal. I mean, you're right, Clash was there. All flex there. That was 100% flex. Anger? Flex plus limit break synergy. Yeah, unlucky. Kind of unreal, but I failed to draw body slam with Impervious for the first time this run. Yeah. It's a much worse card when I don't have Impervious in my hand. That probably takes like 20 damage or something. Failing to draw body slam in that one hand. Okay, it was a good fight though. And Aura Calcum's not bad. I think I'm taking a zoom over seeing red. I think we can skip Mob Bank given that I'm about to go to a shop. I lose 24 gold. I have Exhum, I guess I play Impervious. Why have you betrayed me? He <laughs> found barricade. The 
This is very upside down, what I'm doing right now. This is not a sensible way to build your deck. Um, I think maybe Iron Wave over it. I have to beat Guardian. I wonder if it's good enough against Guardian to take. Maybe it is. Okay. A body slam upgrade. Pasqui, thanks for the 50 months. iPad Dad, thanks for the 36 months. Appreciate it. Did stream get some static? Oh, did I put my phone by the microphone cord, maybe? That might be it. Headbutt on strike, I guess. Arculus, thanks to the Prime, appreciate it. Was not a terrible fight. If we go to 29 here. I mean, gotta take that. I don't think I get the elite though. 34. Thirty-four with our calcom. Maybe I do get the elite. I don't think I can take another body slam. Maybe I could take a sword boomerang. Feels like a spot where the spire simulator would be able to tell me. Spire simulator, why have you abandoned me? I don't mind if you do SRX one. Put me as a reference. Norbert just seems kind of terrible if I take Flex or Body Slam, but Sword Boomerang feels like it helps a bit, and I already have a Flex. And it's not Norbert, so... No problem. I think it's good to play this, just barely. Sometimes the game forgets their future is meant to be green, that's kind of weird. I don't know why. I don't think I need Seeing Red anymore. Like, Zoom's still okay. 
I guess I could just put Impervious in my hand. Get Exhum always gets Impervious, and this way I can go Impervious Body Slam. I can take at most four per turn, which makes me feel like it would be hard to die. Find a way. I have free juice still too. I'm not getting attacked next turn. All right. Thanks for juice. <laughs> okay, so bottled barricade is low key, okay. I am considering going Offering and Bottling Barricade. It's actually alright, trust me. Okay, we're dead. Well, it's not like corruption saves me here. It's another loss! Ironclad has lost three in a row. Um, It's a really weird act one. I'm sad that I didn't get to play this right now. Um, I went headbutt and then took an impervious from like the second hallway fight. Very, very early rare. It's weird to take an impervious that early just because you don't get offered one very often. And it's not like it's that good at that point of the round. But then because I had Headbutt Impervious, I figured I could take a Body Slam next. And so we have this weird Headbutt Impervious Body Slam deck going on. Uh, then I added a Flex because the energy costs of my deck are incredibly high and I wanted to be able to kill Elites and an Anger. So that's kind of weird. And then a Sword Boomerang later. And I got Exhum seeing Red Barricade offering. This deck's like all over the place, but had a lot of potential. Uh, could have been very, very strong in Act 2, 100%. First question mark before the boss fight, I got a pretty bad elite fight in terms of damage taken, walked into a hard hallway fight, and I'm exactly dead. GG. I'm not dead! I said all of that stuff and wasn't dead the entire time! <laughs> Wait, I'm dead this turn? Oh my god, I'm not dead. Oh my god, I just... I just monologued for a minute about how I was dead, and I was just not doing the math right the entire time. <laughs> okay, well, we delete that video. Guess we don't need that video anymore. I'm kind of tired. It's kind of 11.30 p.m. Okay, so I'm still alive, and now you know more about my feelings of how the run's going. You know I will take a feel-no-pain. 
I think we should probably rest. Because I don't really see how we are ever going to... Well, I mean, I could do that. Now we're doing it this way. Jesus. Would I like to be able to play offering this fight? Probably. Should be okay now. I hope. Exhum offering? I don't think so. It's hard, okay? 6 plus 11 minus 6. How could anybody know what that is? You can't expect me to know what that is. What do I look like? A calculator? Not a fucking calculator. <laughs> um. Okay, we won the Guardian fight. Sam. Another impervious. You have to take it here. Pyramid seems good. Havoc with Headbutt's okay. Could really use an, uh, an upgrade. I think maybe I can't take it when it costs one. It is pretty good with Headbutt, though. Thing is, like, Impervious, Barricade, Impervious, these are the cards I want to hit with it. I, I can't get them out of my hand. 
So I could take War Cries. That could be a way to do it. That's actually an okay way to do it. There's also a True Grit here, which is like... Again, if it were upgraded. I'm gonna take a Havoc. I wonder if it's my best upgrade right now. Heavy Blade Disarm! Clumsy... I'm gonna keep looking. I want the Disarm. Disarm. Bash is a curse. But I missed it. Alright. Did a little bit of risky... Risky risk in there. It came out okay. Is there anything wrong with just playing Havoc? Sometimes it plays Offering and I don't want that. Oh, come on. Like... How many cards are there in my deck that aren't impervious? We're playing the mirror. <laughs> True. I think I have to offering here. Unless I'm able to wait until I stop being frail. Oh, I think I can maybe headbutt Havoc, and it's okay, actually. Havoc seems pretty sweet. Heck, looks like you're Act 3 decks. Uh-oh. Concerning. I guess I should have played Strike Plus instead of Strike Not Plus. My bad. Black still coming in huge. Another disarm. Raven, thanks for 50 months. Name wasn't colored on Discord. Well, I'm glad you fixed that. Appreciate the support. Body slams. Every impervious costs zero. Love that. Why do my spells cost less than three? I am not sure. Another shrug? Might be okay. It might be bad. <laughs> I think I might not be buying Dark Embrace. The whole shop looks pretty good, though. Oh. 
Should I just buy Dark Embers? I should probably just buy Dark Embers. I, I'm just going to buy Dark Embers, I think. <sighs> Stack needs an armaments. Needs an armaments real bad. I'm gonna do this to get through the elite fight. Okay, I thought this one would probably be okay because of disarm. Imagine if I drew a disarm. All of those seem pretty good. All right. This should now win. Good thing I didn't die to exact lethal that one turn. I agree. I agree. That was a good thing. Is it fair? I never claimed I was trying to be fair to the enemies on the spire. I do feel strongly that this arm is good in this fight. I guess I don't need it. We're taking Whirlwind plus for the elites. We're upgrading for energy. He's gonna do a lot of damage to me. I feel like drawing flex this turn is kind of troll. Alright. I'm 
No, I think we're okay. Hey, Louis! Good. Happy to not be dead in that fight. Feed. Take a feed? Are you sure I'm happy to take a feed here? Why doesn't Taskmaster say it's gaining one strength every turn? I don't know. Fine question. Unexpected pineapple! Remember when I monologued about my death? That was funny. I was right about the deck being sweet if we got to play it. Uh, how do I... Again. A six max HP. Metallicize? Metallicize is fine. It is unexciting, but it's also okay. We're gonna play barricade here. Oh. Oh, whoops. Take damage because I feel no pain. Barricade upgrade is energy, yeah. Decent upgrade here for sure. We play it now.
Boof. We did it, and molten egg duplication. I'm often just not doing anything with the other energy if I upgrade this. Maybe I upgrade it, and if I get a fourth energy, I can play it and Impervious in the same turn. meant to play impervious when I'm not frail. It's hard not to be frail. I think it's all a dream. Shit. Right. Any boss relics better than mummified hand here? I pretty happily take an energy relic. Sounds up uh, not killing. I get to feed. Good shit. Is any boss here like better than uh, a singular armaments? There's a good question. I think this is Exhum over Reaper. Like Reaper is pretty good, but I think I'm okay. An exhum can get offering, or it can get seeing red, or it can get eat again. I think this is Sozu over Fusion Hammer, because I'm pretty happy to take another energy upgrade or two. Though now I have four energy. Oh. Upgrade pot's not terrible. Exhumed to functionally be the sixth copy of Impervious. Also true. Gotta go there. Exhumed can't exhume itself. 
common question. Doesn't work. It's that easy. It's a war cry. I said I wanted one of those for Havoc. I do have a Dark Embrace, which ruins it now. It doesn't always ruin it, it only ruins it if Dark Embrace is in play. I'm gonna stick Uppercut for a week. Eventually, I'm gonna reach a point where I don't actually block for more than I'm getting attacked for. Maybe not, because I have Disarms. That might actually not be true. Let's just skip. I think an uppercut for the week. Card's okay. Barricade upgrade. We did the thing that I said it might do. not responded to Elmo on Twitter now. We got plenty of cards to remove. Who shops? Another headbutt. Another headbutt helps with the havoc thing. Also, getting feed back multiple times is kind of good. I think headbutt's a good card here. Sorry, not feed, body slam. This fight seems uniquely bad for me. God, yeah. It was a bad fight. They don't have Dark Embrace in play. Uh...
Two more turns. I just kind of feel like I didn't draw my good cards. You're right, I could use the upgrade potion. I could also use the duplication potion. Arguably, I can always use any of my potions. Alright. Just half of my health is gone. Don't think this deck needs a battle trance. Are there any bad hits? Next Ascension makes the Prime! I guess I could have had three feeds and I'm only getting two. Oh well, both of them. Flex plus Sever Soul. I'm good. Nemesis has forgotten to take a turn off. Rude. Just need to find feed before it kills itself on bronze scales. Hey, boxer! Anchor. Anchor seems good. Juggernaut. I think, probably, the deck is happy to have a Juggernaut. Even though I have good damage from Body Slam, uh, Juggernaut's gonna proc a lot of times. 
This is a rest, I believe. To make sure I don't die to a really bad Reptimenser start. Really silly to die with 112 max HP. I feel like you pick a Juggernaut High because you enjoy the card. Believable. Ah, uh, I'm killing that. And now I'm going to have a. It's okay. This one represented more damage than one of these, because these are just hitting for 25 once, whereas that one was hitting for 9 and then 25. Yes, yes, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Trail. But I wish you the best. Or I'm sorry to hear that. That music. Stop. Hello. Can I be here, man? Wait, did my stream go down? No. Okay. What happened to the music? Where did it go? Uh, we can exhume feed next turn, I hope. If we can. Hourglass. Hourglass breaks feed. But I'm probably taking it still. It's fine. I kind of need more damage. Yakabako. It's already kind of broken by Juggernaut. I mean, kind of. Yes, that's fine. Thirty six. All right. Okay, we did it. Whew. Whatever it is has been done.
speed continues. Do I take another body slam? It feels like a non-terrible card here. I do kind of feel like as my deck gets better, I'll just draw the one that I already have more often. I do have four copies of Impervious, and it does cost zero with Pyramid. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, it's probably fine. Black Sword Boomerang. <laughs> uh, whoops. Really sad if we don't see corruption again. This deck can win without corruption. It would be easier to win with it, probably. Imagine for a second if feed was not the bottom card. Cool. Intimidate plus seems excellent. Always over question marks because feed. Also just ironclad um starter relic. Bloodletting. Bloodletting seems great. Oh my god. Okay, but this time I drew the god hand instead of the worst possible. I mean, it's already over. Just concede transient. I don't think I can eat on it. I think if I drew slightly better, 
We would have gotten the feed here, though. Like, at some point, around about here, we sure are dealing a lot of damage to it. Three body slams. I think two's enough. I got the bloodletting too, so my need for zero cost cards is a little bit lower. Uh oh. Thank you, Jason Mraz. Please be quiet. That song had another 30 seconds left. How is that possible? Feels like it shouldn't be possible. I don't want to play Havoc into potentially offering. Don't need to. Is there any bad? I don't want to play it into Bloodletting either. Horn cleat another zoo. Okay, I think I've probably had collector bonus on impervious before. I don't think I've ever had bottled barricade collector bonus on impervious and three exhumes before. I think that's new. This one will go in the in the records for the ages. We have recalled successfully. Time meter fight. Need one more exam. It's doable. Right, I think I'm going to headbutt uppercut. Clear my hand. Seems like a solid strat. Why haven't I done it before? Because I'm just bad at that game. Wait, it's already dead almost. <laughs> Rumors of my death were greatly exaggerated. Does Entrencher win more card here? Uh, feels like it's pretty good to me. Here's the thing. If I didn't have 127 health, maybe I could skip. Entrench. If I had like 60 something health, then I kind of need to draw Impervious. And putting a card that isn't Impervious in my deck is kind of bad. But given that actually I have 127 health, I have enough time to draw Entrench at the start of fights. Uh, I don't think I need it to win or anything, but that makes it a lot more appealing to add it.
Shank off, exact lethal, and go on to Lama. I can dodge bullets, baby. Okay, that's not the best hand I've ever had. Nora Jones? This is Sarah Borellis? No. No way. Uh, this is a three feed fight. Potentially. I mean, I can't use Exhum for other things very much. Sarah Borealis. You think the audience is from the bay? Is that what we just learned? Oh no, they're clapping. Oh, I hate it when the audience claps. Stop enjoying yourselves! Uh. Uh. <laughs> Absolutely not. Recommend Japanese performances hootering and hooting. Hootering? Hooting and hollering is not a thing there. That sounds much more pleasant. A vast improvement to be sure. Do any of these matter? No, it's fine. Hootering sounds pretty pleasant too. Maybe it is. Kind of incredible how close this fight ended up being. Like, not in a bad way. Because I used Exhum for E twice, right? Um, and I could have used it for other things. It's interesting how, like, I kind of had exactly the right amount of, right amount of block over the course of the fight to be able to do that. Why don't Havoc War 1 spend your mana? 
Does Havoc ever spend your mana? When does Havoc ever spend your mana? Havoc doesn't spend your energy. Uh... I think resting is probably better than upgrading for one energy. Just barely. Calipers is bad here because my barricade is bottled. Dark Embrace is also bad here. Havoc into Orland. Great, but Havoc doesn't spend your energy. <laughs> Still. There, you never play Havoc and lose energy. Really. That's not what Havoc does. These are kind of bad. The spoon <laughs> looks normal to you? Hmm. Maybe it's not its looks that are strange. I don't think I want to shrug. This is kind of a mediocre shop. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Alright, that's one way to get through the Act 4 of the fight, I guess. Second win. That seems pretty good here. gonna wait on impervious until I have more of them in hand for upgrade and I'm not frail. I get to do that because I have 139 max HP. Let's get rid of these cards. Copies of Impervious, is that enough? I feel like I've drawn very badly so far. However, it appears to be enough. Run. 
Relic Bar seems underwhelming. We get to bottle a barricade. We found an Aracalcum. Saving our life. Can't complain. Dark Embrace. That one. This one. Still no feel no pain. Good grief. I was gonna headbutt. Bloodletting, I think. Good enough to me. So, funny story. I recorded a minute long debrief for this run because I thought I was dead. Uh, in the floor before the Act 1 boss campfire. I was being attacked for 11 with 6 HP, and it defended my hand, and I talked for a minute about how I was dead, and then Ender turned into Aura Calcum, gave me 6 block, and I took 5 and was at 1, and then I won, like, very easily from there. It was not meant to be a hallway fight, it was a question mark, I got a little bit unlucky, and I am very, very close to dying. Something that I learn more and more and more as I play more and more Slay the Spire is that if you don't die, you win. Um, and this deck didn't die, so it won. Yeah, sometimes it's important not to die. Anyway, uh, we took an early Impervious, we bottled a Barricade, we got four Imperviouses, three Exhumes, two Body Slam Pluses, uh, and the run's being kind of wild. GG! Can I really say I won if I didn't munch on the heart? I think we can say I won there. You kind of want to become a Spire streamer. Why? I don't mean that as a, as a like, don't do it. I mean that as a, if you can work out why you want that, you can make appropriate choices for yourself. I don't know why you want to do it, so I can't give you good advice. Really?